clinical researchers, welcome back to the Clinical Trials Guru. I've got Janine Jones, clinical solutions specialist from BioClinica, uh, one of the, I guess, key companies in the tech space in clinical research. Um, I was just wandering by, we're here at DIA, ran into them. Janine has been watching the videos, wants to educate me on adjudication, right? Absolutely. That, and that's something that BioClinica is now starting to focus on as an yes. add-on service to their EDC. Can you explain what that Absolutely. is? Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, it's known as clinical adjudication or endpoint adjudication. And what clinical adjudication is, put simply, is it can occur in phase three or phase four of, clin of the clinical trials. And the sponsor says we want an independent group of KOLs to look at a set of targeted events in the study. And so they utilize source documents such as discharge summaries, x-rays, anything that will help them determine when they look at an event, be it stroke, be it mm. MI, or be it, it could be a triple component endpoint. It could be, you know, three things that they're looking at. Um, so they look at all of that and they say, yes or no, this was or was not related to the drug or device being studied. Interesting. For certain, yeah. for key endpoints, like the primary endpoint mm -hmm. and then the secondary endpoints? Yes. Right? But not, not just random data points. It has to be no. the primary and secondary endpoint. Yes. Okay. They, they are named, so they're, they're governed you by... Heard of this. No, I've never heard of this. I was going to ask what the I was going to ask what the motivation is, but you answered at the very end there. Well, it's is to prove that it's not related to the drug or device. Correct. That's that's one way in which adjudication is used, right? So, and it's also data validation, saying you know we ran the trial, we got these events, um, but we want to prove to you beyond a re shadow of a doubt that these events were or were not related to the drug. Now the FDA doesn't require this, right? This is. No, but is why would a sponsor want to spend more to do this? Well, great question. <laughs> so, um, trials that are adjudicated versus trials that have not been adjudicated, um, the FDA looks more favorably upon those trials that have been oh, independently adjudicated, oh, okay. right, versus okay. trials that are have not. It's no guarantee that the FDA is going to approve the drug or device that's been adjudicated, but certainly you've had an independent group of KOLs look at everything and they're not related to the sponsor, not wow. related to the trial at all. They're experts in the field of study. That looks pretty good to the FDA. And I, and I think oftentimes if they haven't been adjudicated that they ha they demand the FDA another trial, right? I think I've seen that. Could be. Nice. Or it could be the FDA says, no, we need more data or we need a couple more years of the trial. So at Bioclinica, we have software that facilitates this pretty complex process. So you have blinded adjudicators. Say you have, you know, adjudicator A, adjudicator B. We picked the right company to do CRA Academy with. There you go. Yeah. This Absolutely. is the right one. It's amazing. I've been in this industry since 2005. I've never heard of this. Uh, and I, I understand the concept. I didn't know that that's what it was called. And I did not under, I did not realize that vendors, tech vendors, are best equipped to implement that. Well, and think really? about it. Whose idea was this? Yours? I wish. <laughs> I wish. No, it's it's actually been going on in cardiovascular trials for quite some time. Okay. That's where it started. Ah, uh, interesting. Was in that therapy. That's period. why we don't know. It started in cardio, and we're we're not really involved in that space. Yeah, Excellent. Absolutely. What else does Bioclinica do now that we're here? Oh. For the people oh. that don't know, we know the EDC. Everybody knows, but you know, maybe not everybody. But what else? What else are you guys doing? We have a CTMS. Okay. Um, we have a site payments solution. Site network. Site net. Oh. Yeah, we have a site network. Yeah. That is right. Yeah, that's right. That is right. Uh, there. I mean, that's a whole nother podcast. Yes, it is. We could. We Are could you involved in that? that. Are no, you involved? I am no. not. Can we get in the site network? We're a site. No, we don't want to be in the site. We're sites. We don't. <laughs> no. They own the sites. <laughs> that's oh, that's what Dr. Al was saying. We offer the sites that we own, right? I so, got you. Yes. Yes. We do at some point, but not yet. Very good. I like this. Thank you very much. We, we could talk. It's a good podcast. It's a very interesting topic that I want to go in depth on. But uh, thank you very much for educating me today. You're very and, welcome. And uh, Chris and, and all of Guru Nation, we wow. appreciate it. If somebody wants to get a hold of you, where do they do? Where, where do they go? LinkedIn? Do you have LinkedIn? I do. 
I do actually. I'll, I'll put your link under the video. Sounds okay. good. But if they don't want to click it, what, Janine Jones? Yes, J-A-N-I-N-E Jones. And yep. at Bioclinica. Mm. All right, you thank you it. very much, Janine. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank My you, pleasure. everybody. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.